What's up everybody, Ferris back again today with one of my favorite pieces in my collection. Uh, those of you Lambo nuts out there probably already know what this is. It's the Aventador, which was released in 2011 to replace Lamborghini's Murcielago. Um, the model that we have in front of us today is a 1 8 scale uh, replica made by a British company called Amalgam. And for those of you that not, are not familiar with Amalgam, uh, they are very well known for extremely high quality, very high end uh, model cars. Um, they're more well known for their scale of their cars. They, they, they make a range of, of scales for their cars from 1 12th to 1 4th, uh, which is huge. Uh, but the one we have in front of us and the one they're, they're more well known for, I guess, is their, their main scale is 1 8th scale, which is still extremely large. If you've seen some of my past videos, a lot of my collection are 1 12th scale cars, and those are fairly large. Uh, this is more than double that uh, that size. So, uh, extremely impressive cars. Um, they come like this, as you see, uh, with a base. They're they're attached to a base. Uh, the base itself, I'll get a close up of it a little, little little later on. But uh, they are the bases are real carbon fiber, and they come with these really nice uh, acrylic cases as well. And I just I left the case on just to show you that it came with it, but I'm going to take it off because there's a little too much glare. Gently. And underneath, we have one of the finest models made, or that you can basically get by any company in the world right now. Uh, Amalgam are known for making basically anything you want. I mean, they started off. Uh, making custom pieces like yachts and, and stuff like that or, or cars for, for clients that were basically looking for prototypes or replicas or stuff to add to their collection, stuff like that. Um, high, high, high attention to detail. Uh, one of these takes about, from what I understand, about 3,000 man hours to actually put together with over 1,500 parts. Um, amazing quality and detail and craftsmanship. Um, if you've seen my last video that I made on CMC's uh, 112th McLaren SLR, this is pretty much that and then some at 1 8 scale. Um, these models are super, super heavy. Um, attention to detail everywhere, even in parts that you can't see. Uh, for instance, the, the engine block. I mean, you can't see it. The, the actual engine bay and the, uh, the bonnet there don't actually open. Uh, but the block itself is made out of aluminum and I mean nobody sees it or is going to get in there But they still put that kind of quality into the car um, As I said the base is made out of uh, real carbon fiber um, The doors on this piece are really the only thing that open some of their cars I mean some of their one scale cars and of other brands will have all opening parts um, some don't, some are just static, and some just have the, the doors open, others just have the uh, uh, the engine cover open. I have uh, their 1 8 scale Reventon as well, and the only thing that opens on that is the engine cover. Uh, on this, the engine cover stays closed, but the doors open. So, I don't know <laughs> how they decide what's going to open, what's not, I guess, just based on its complexity and stuff like that. But... When you, when you look at this thing up close, I mean, really, the only way to appreciate these is up close and in person. Um, this I had here ordered in a, in a custom color, my favorite color on Lamborghinis, which is Verde Ithaca, it's called. And uh, I had it custom ordered in this color with the two-tone uh, green interior, which is on the door panels, down the center of the seats, the center console. Um, I had the, the wheels come in this... Uh, titanium -y gray, gunmetal gray color, because that's the, I think, looks better than just the really bright silver that they come with standard. But, uh, yeah, I mean, Amalgam's known to, I mean, if you're an owner of the car, you can order the car and have it customized to what your actual car is. Um, so, for instance, like, if you wanted a custom uh, plate on the back, I just had mine say Aventador because, just because, but... You know, if you wanted your last name on there or your actual license plate to your real car, you can put that on there. They'll make that for you. Um, just amazing, amazing 
craftsmanship and, and, and detail on this. It's, it's unreal. But uh, yeah, like I said, the, the doors open on this. These are actually spring-loaded doors on, uh, on this car. I'll show you how they work. On each side, they have a little button at the very bottom. If I can get under there. And you press that button, and the door pops open. Um, again, the, the, the detail paid attention to these on the door strikers, on the actual lift, latch system, the dampers, everything is replicated exactly like it is on the real car. Just open this side for you. Find the button, there it is. So, beautiful car. Probably one of Lamborghini's best cars made outside of the Diablo for me personally. But uh, just beautiful, beautiful car. Got a little bit of flaring going on there. So let me see if I can close up on some of these details here for you. So as I said, the, uh, the base is real carbon fiber. These are numbered, but I think they're just pretty much made to order. Uh, I got number 25 of 199. These are chrome plated badges. Really nice touches. If you could tell either, like the, the paint code for these and for that they used for their cars are the exact same paint codes that Lamborghini uses on their cars, so um, it's pretty much the same paint. I don't know if you can tell either it's in the in the camera or this video, but uh, it's kind of got a pearly kind of effect to it, the paint job here. Get a closer look at these wheels. Right down to the tread pattern on the wheels is replicated perfectly. Here's the interior. And again, like I mean, the, the detail and the quality is so fine on these that if you were to take really good uh, up-close HD shots and pictures of this car, it would look like the real car. Like, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference at all. So... Uh, Amalgam, as I was saying, they're known for. I mean, they're, they're in partnership with a lot of the, with a lot of these companies, with Lamborghini, Ferrari, and they um, basically make cars personalized for their owners, um, or for corporate events, um, for collectors. I mean, they they do it all, uh, and not just cars. Like I said, they make yachts and a whole bunch of other things. Um, at their at their company there and. How these cars are made, kind of like how the SLR was uh, made, this this is a digital scan of the real car. And so they, they basically put like, a, it looks like a giant car wash type of apparatus over top of the car, and they scan it into a computer. So everything that you see on this car is 100% accurate to the real thing. It, it really doesn't get any more accurate than this. Uh, and the attention to detail and quality is just top-notch. There's really nothing that compares to it, as I said. Um, let me see if I can get a closer shot of the interior. As you can see, that's the color combination that I chose there with the uh, green center console seats and the, uh, the door green also. So 
So, beautiful, beautiful car. Um, I have a few of these. I'm hoping that uh, Amalgam makes, if they're watching this, uh, the Veneno. I know they have the scans and the information for it. I just hope they, uh, they actually put it into production along with the Sesto Elemento. Um, I know they got the Aventador J coming, which uh, should be added to the collection sh uh, shortly. But uh, beautiful, beautiful cars. And at this scale, you can really appreciate all the detail that they put into this stuff, into their cars, because, I mean, everything's just so in your face, but it's just so accurate. It's just amazing, amazing quality. Give you uh, close to the headlights here. Literally nothing is overlooked on this car. Beautiful color, beautiful design. And to give you uh, an idea of scale here, how big one eighth scale actually is, again, I got my medium McDonald's coffee here. Can't really put it on the ledge, but it's going to touch the car. But uh, there you go. That's how big it is. Very big model. And again, they make these in, in one fourth scale as well, which is, well, not the specific car, but some cars in one fourth scale, which is just massive. You need like a kitchen table to display it. But um, th these models, if you're, if you're a car collector uh, and you don't know these of Amalgam, I mean, they're these are not for everybody. These are, like I said, extremely high-end uh, models, pretty expensive. I, I'll put a link to their to their site if you want to learn more about them and what other cars they make and stuff like that. Um, but it, these are not like you can buy one every every month or every other week if you're uh, just just you know casual car collector. But if you can get one into your collection, it will be the centerpiece of your collection, of whatever whatever you choose, whatever car you like that they make. Um, you, you're not going to find anything like this on the market by any other company, period. So, beautiful car. Like I was saying, model itself is, is just, you, you have to see these in person, guys. I can't really tell you. You're, you're, this is not going to do it any kind of justice, just filming it, but to see them in person is just something else. Uh, and if you saw some of my other videos, uh, like I mentioned in those, I got this car and some of my other, pretty much all my other cars, my other amalgams from uh, Collector Studio in Toronto. And he's pretty much got the biggest collection of uh, one eighth scale amalgams there. So if you're looking to get one of these or order them in, or order one customized to your, to your liking, to your taste, uh, call up Collector Studio, give Maury a shout there, email him. He can get whatever you want in for you. And uh, that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to do uh, the next video on the Reventon that I have in this scale by Amalgam. And hopefully the Aventador J will be here soon. And uh, I'll do... Uh, video on that one as well. There you have it guys. Let me just lower this a little bit and show you some of the, the back side a little bit. So that's it guys, um, that's the 1 8 scale Amalgam Lamborghini Aventador, and uh, I will talk to you in my next video. Take care guys.